Friday night in Kyoto, Japan. I'll give you guys the full tour. This is by far my favorite city I've ever been to in Japan so far out of all the places I've been to. It's just so alive with activity and life. There's a million bars that you can go to. And even for a guy like me that doesn't drink anymore, that's sober, like it's just, it's still an amazing time. And I mean, just look at the bike parking. Like, people here seem to have it all figured out. Probably not everything, but like they, it's safe for the most part. It's fairly cheap compared to North American or European standards. And for the most part, it's, it's lively, like, People are actually out in the streets. They're enjoying themselves. It's by far, it's just so much fun here. I absolutely love it so much. I just seriously can't get enough of this place. <laughs> Well, that place was just lovely. A little slice of Ireland in the heart of Japan. So, let's go on a sober pub call tonight. Let's go and check out bars, but not drink. So in downtown Kyoto, there's gotta be hundreds of bars, hundreds and hundreds of bars. But the amazing thing I've found about Japan is there's lots of non-alcoholic selections. So it's really easy to go out and hang out and have a good time and still not drink alcohol if, you, uh, if you're sober like me. And I'm in kind of like a Irish, Scottish, British kind of mood. So let's, um, let's go check out all these kind of places tonight. There's lots of Irish pubs here. So the next place I'm going to go to is, it's just called The Hub, and it's a Scottish pub. The downtown bar scene here is just electric, like there's just people everywhere. Everything you want under the sun, like if you want karaoke, it's here. If you want girls bars, it's here. If you want Irish pubs like where I want, it's here. If you want pizza chains, it's here. thing about being sober is like I'm I'm not subject to like the same problems like I had like I just saw a kid that was like fucking tapped out already like it's only 10 30 at night here and he was already just fucking gone on the street on the sidewalk pissing puke all over himself I'm pretty sure I saw a little bit of shit too but of course cleaning cleaning myself up and getting sober means I don't have to like subject myself to that anymore all right, on to the next one. It's called The Hub, it's a British pub. Yeah. 
just like a proper London pub. two for two I would rate that place easily an 11 out of 10 that was hands down like a proper British pub like straight out of London I would 100% recommend that place so we've hit two great pubs let's try out another one found this place called Castle West Irish Pub. I don't really have a good feeling about this, but uh, we're gonna try it. No, that one's not the vibe. That's okay. On to the next one. So, yeah, I think it's this is about it for the, the pub crawl. The last, I tried that last place, wasn't a good vibe. Everything else is more just like Japanese bars. So, um, yeah, but for like a sober person, you can still have a great time. Like you can come out, you can go out to bars. There's lots of great places to go. Japan especially is, everyone is very nice. They're very friendly. They're very accommodating. They always have amazing uh, non-alcoholic drink selections. So I think that I'd, I'd rate it like it's 10 out of 10. Like as a destination country, if you're, if you're sober, and you're unsure of like, oh, can I go out and still have a good time? I think you can still have an amazing time. I certainly, I've been in Japan this week. I've had an amazing time, no problems at all. It's very safe, it's very accommodating. Prices are on par with about North American or European prices. So it's not the cheapest country, but it's not, you know, it's not Switzerland or like a very, very expensive place. So yeah, if you know, if you're just do it, man. Just come. <laughs> 